Attack of the Clones. Hello and welcome to Attack of the Clones. Replay Retro's look at some of the downright despicable copies of older games and game systems uh, produced in random tap boxes like this. Proof, if you will, that if there are gaming gods, there is also a gaming hell pit spewing forth with plastic tat, such as this week's item, the Enjoy Pad. Do you get it? Enjoy, as in you'll enjoy it. Enjoy. Enjoy? Okay, good. Make sure you enjoy it. So let's take a quick look at the box. I will point out I uh, haven't paid much money for this. I bought this for a couple of pounds from a car boot because I wouldn't pay, well, more than what I did for this. I paid about two pounds for it and that was probably over the odds. Um, I haven't had a look at it yet, so we're both going to experience this together. <sighs> Won't that be a great experience? So, looking at the front of the box, what do we have here? Plugs directly into your TV and play. Well, that's what most of these systems do, and it's a good thing. It is a feature, I'll give it that. 59 games in three compact discs. That'll be the discs there. What's the betting that these aren't discs? These aren't like optical discs. What's the betting that these have little knobs on the bottom that press down buttons inside the machine? And so the discs are irrelevant. You could just sellotape the buttons down. I'm pretty willing to bet my Vectrix on that. Um, two control pads. We can see they're also mentioning again there. Three discs with 59 games in total. They're really, really like throwing out this whole uh, discs thing. Single or double players. So multiplayer is possible. Some screenshots there from some of the brilliant games. Item number here. CD. 3900, the CD bit has got to be referring to compact disc again, hasn't it? And uh, apparently you can ruin the imaginations and lives of children from the age of 5 plus with this system. Don't really know what on there is small enough uh, to choke on if you're a smaller child, but let's face it, you wouldn't want to give this to any child that you liked. Uh, great Christmas present idea if you do have an annoying niece or nephew that you secretly wish you didn't have. Sides of the box then, you can see that this used to be an Argos item at some point in its life. Purveyors of fine quality crap. A few more screenshots. They don't actually look that bad, these screenshots. I recognise you. We shall investigate. Includes three discs, 59 games in total. Load a disc, plug into your TV for awesome! Games action. Apparently this is awesome games action. Excellent. Oh yep, definitely. It's re reaffirmed there. Plugs directly into your TV for awesome games action. Nothing else really on there. Another screenshot. Repeated again around here. More screenshots. Same old rubbish. Not to three sad onion. There, wait, I thought. Not suitable for children under three years due to small parts but for five plus. Okay, um, whatever. Um, recyclable, because you will want to throw this away very quickly, so make sure you recycle it. Takes four AA batteries. Bugger, I hope I have some. Uh, let's get it open. No, oh, wait, the back, the back. We haven't looked at the pack. Don't get overexcited. Total 59 games. Here are a few of the awesome games. These games are awesome, apparently. Hmm. This product is with patent. Advanced Bright Limited will take legal action against violators for copyright infringement or imitation in any forms. Why would you want to imitate this? I can't see any reason why you would want to imitate this. Oh, let's get it opened up. How do you open this god-awful thing? Wonderful. Some instruction manual or user's guide. Do we really care about anything in here? Oh, oh, it, it folds out like a map. Oh, it tells you all what you do in the games. Oh, I really, oh, I don't want to read any of that. Hey, but look, it folds up quite well. Kudos points. 
Uh, when the TV is turned on, shows nine in one. What? Shut up. Here's the joy pads then. Actually, the, the plastic on them isn't too terrible. Buttons aren't great. The D-pad buttons are, are just buttons. They're not, it's not really a pad, it is just buttons. Start and select her rubbery. The others are just plastic. And this is the end joy pad. So I wonder what the actual machine is, because these are the end joy pads then. The connectors there look a bit like uh, slightly smaller GameCube connectors. Uh, the machine itself then. Oh no, wait, let's take a look at our discs first. And yet, as suspected, our discs are actually just pieces of plastic. There's no data on there. Nothing at all. And so the size... Oh, bugger, I've dropped one. The size of the discs will press down a series of buttons. Let's see if there's a series of buttons in here. Press to open. Yep, there you go. You can see there are buttons in here. And the smaller disc presses down the first button. The larger disc presses down the second button. And the even larger discs presses down the th th all three buttons. So, yeah. So that's how that works. So the discs are irrelevant. You could just press down the buttons. Excellent. Uh, the machine itself... Pretty plasticky, pretty shit. There's the silver trim there, joystick ports, power, reset, press to open, audio, video, no wait, audio, audio, video, of course, ports, battery bay there. Do not throw this in the wheelie bin because your bin man will be disgusted to take this away from you. I assume that's what they mean. If there are any performance, reliability or performance issues, new batteries should be used. Or, alternately, you could set fire to it. Would probably be the best piece of advice. What else do you get in this Craposphere box? Piece of plastic. A cable, a connection cable. I'd say that's worth more than the system. And a gubbins for switching it to SCART. Excellent, right. I'll go find some batteries and we'll enjoy it. <laughs> Kill me now. Okay, so before we actually use this, I want to show you something. Here is a screen which the Enjoy Pad is hooked up to. Here is the Enjoy Pad which is currently powered on. Let's see what happens if we press a button. Button 1. Oh look, a 9 in 1 games disc. Buttons 1 and 2. Oh look, a 20 in 1 games disc. All three buttons. A 30 in 1 games disc. So already we can see the buttons are useless. 9 in 1, 20 in 1, 30 in 1, and not a disc to be seen. Uh, let's just put the disc in, prove it's the same guff. Yes, there it is. Good old crap. Alright, so I suppose we'd better look at a few of the games. 9 in 1, which is the first disc. Fun clicks, box world, matching, strange pop pop, warrior chase, burger build. Well, we know what that is as far as clone games go. God, this controller actually isn't very nice when you want to use it. Play, go, start. Oh, bugger. What? Okay, so the start, the what? Oh, a bit jerky. Well, this does look a lot like the correct game, in fairness. Cock and balls! Cock and balls! Run away! Ah, you were caught by a sausage. 
Is there a way to get back to the menu? No! Reset! Next! Uh, let's try... Warrior Chen! No, Strange Pop Pop! How interesting you sound. What? New, yes. New! One! Oh! No! But... Okay, so it's a uh, Tetris with bubbles. Next! One more. Wario Chase. What disc is this? Is this the intelligence disc or something? How are these games requiring intelligence? One player. I am but one man! Oh, I can throw ninja stars. I'm sure I'm probably supposed to be... Can I jump at all? Or would that be just too much to ask? Ah, I can kill you there, you little... Creature of... Whatever. Why can they jump and I can't? I don't have a jump. I genuinely can't jump. What the frick? Did I just jump backwards at some kind of impressive speed? Hey! Holy mother of crap. What? No. Go up, you turd monkey. Oh, Jesus. Right, so the jumping, the jumping seems to be entirely uncontrollable. I have no... I can roughly tell him to jump and in what direction. Oh, they can throw ninja stars as well. Can I be killed? Fall from a... No, I bounce off the walls. Ah, boing. Next. Oh, let's change the disc before I throw up. The next disc is called... Uh, can you see that? It's the Sport and Adventure disc. Yay. Because sports games are terrible enough on normal consoles. So surely on a console that's made from chewing gum, sellotape and bits of fluff down the back of the sofa, these are going to be really awful. Uh, oh! Oh no. Um, Arctic Hunt. <laughs> Only because it sounds funny. Arctic Hunt. Arctic Hunt. I've made my point. What the frack? What do I do with the teddy bears? Can I get them? Oh! Right, so I can land on the teddy bears, but if I allow them to move, they will kill me. Can I jump? Oh, balls. Next. Uh, planetary pool. These have all got to be NES games. They look like NES games. If anyone knows that these games exist, please tell me. Flickery death! What? I missed because I wasn't able to adjust the power. Ah, the power moves itself on that top bar in the corner. I see. If in doubt, give him a clout. Oh, what? I was trying to go the... Son of a... Ah, you have to turn around like that. Of course you do. In doubt, give him a clout. I meant to do that, you all saw it. 
Yep, yeah, enough of that. Boring. One more sports and adventure game. Need for Speed! Yeah! I really want Need for Speed Underground 2 to be on this. My favourite Need for Speed game. Come on, Need for Speed Underground 2. Oh, it doesn't... Why is the music just a squealing noise? Oh, I've got guns! Why are all the other cars distinctly bigger than me? Die! Why don't my guns do anything? Oh, so I can blow up other cars, just not that one. Yeah, I crashed him. Oh, I crashed me as well, but still. This doesn't strike me as need for speed. Die, road users! Ugh, I should pay you taxi or whatever. Right, another disc. The last disc is the Action Games series, and it's the biggest disc. Close the damn machine. 13 1! Uh, zero Gravity, Goldie. Mars Man! Uh, oh, should we be Joe or Phil? Well, I can't pick, so I'll be Joe. That's a little bit scary. What the? I'm actually controlling both of them. They both just do the exact. My controls are directly controlling the guy on the right, but the guy on the left is doing the exact opposite. Oh, I have to free them, but I'm supposed to get out of here somehow. Was I supposed to destroy that other X thing? They've gone out of sync. What the frick? What? What? I don't know, that's the exit! I thought the exit was the top thing, and I thought it was the bottom thing. How the frick are you supposed to... This should be on the intelligence if you're supposed to get them both on at the same time. That was stupid. Reset. Let's see how Mars is different from Mars Men. Ah, uh, we can see where this is going. I like the music for this one. Single gun, triple gun. Oh, you have several different settings for firing your gun, which is quite cool. Oh, this I could play. This is enjoyable. Nice, simple scrolling shooter. Anyone can enjoy a little scrolling shooter. You get the gist. Next. Helicopter Harry! Because it's everyone's favourite helicopter. What the hell is that noise? off. Oh, what? Oh, it's quite difficult to control because it actually does swing about like I imagine a real helicopter doesn't. What? Why is it? Oh shit. Okay, I think I'm just going to fly around and blow stuff up. Am I getting points for this or am I actually dying? Yeah, take that you tank bastard. Next! Neighbourhoods, no, let's go to the next page. Covert Soldier. 
ドゥルルードゥルルルーで、あれだな。I wasn't far off! Player number one, destroy! Okay, so I can't control much. Oh! I can actually, I can do it. Whoa! Ah, bitch. Most exciting game ever made! 9 out of 10 Daleks agree. One more game. No, let's uh, shoot. No, you don't want to see Breakout, do you? Frogger. Let's have a look at how it does Frogger. At least I assume this is Frogger. That's not a frog, that's a spider! Oh, I'm the frog. What a frick. So I was expecting Frogger. Am I supposed to fuck this spider up? Ah, oh, die, you spider prick. Everyone hates spiders. Oh no! Don't steal my shit, you bitch! Stealing my lily pad! Son of a bitch! How did the green thing die? I think I'm supposed to let the green things get to the lily pads which the flies are trying to steal. So green things might be baby frogs that are trying to reach the lily pads. Spider's gonna try and eat them. Which I can force him back up the ladder. Oh no, he's stolen my dealy. Die! Yeah, that's right, I'll steal my lily pad, I'll stab you in the throat. Oh, I can't touch the green thing. Oh, who cares? Alright, just one more, one more, one more. Village protector! Because these days when the village people go out by themselves, they often run into abuse. Okay, Space Invaders. Oh, come on! You can only fire one shot at once, obviously, while you're on the screen. I hate this game already. What? Christ, they're too slow. I bet there's hundreds of people screaming at the screen now. Go for the end ones! Well, I'm not actually playing this game seriously, so no. Everyone knows the mothership is there to distract you from your mission. Okay, so I can go on about this console being crap all I want, but actually this game is quite addictive. The point of these consoles are that they always are made up of games that you've seen 101 times before, and those games are never done particularly well. But, if these systems are cheap, and you've got, say, a load of bored kids in a caravan, then actually these machines aren't all that bad. They're games that are easy to play but are addictive, kind of like what mobile phone games used to be before they started trying to give you modern graphics. I've got to try and clear this first wave now. Ah, oh, crap. The guy at the bottom moves really slowly. Fucker. <laughs> a 
Anywho, reset. So yeah, I guess what I'm trying to say is that these machines, generally, we all know that they're full of games that you've seen 101 times before. None of those games have done particularly well. But do you know what? There's a reason those games have stood the test of time. And generally, it's because they're good games. They're good, addictive games that you can pick up and play. You don't have to sit there for an hour. You can literally just bash them on, have a quick play, and there they are. And so, actually, from that perspective, I'd say this system is quite good. Because you can have two players... There's a good variety of games. I'm sure if I was to go through all of them, we'd find a few decent ones. Um, so all in all, as much as I want to rip the hell out of this machine and tell you it is a massive pile of junk uh, in a variety of comedy ways, it's actually not that bad. I don't know how much it was new, but I'm sure it was bought just to keep some young child, maybe a five-year-old like it says on the box, entertained. And I'm sure it did that job. So... Yeah, the Enjoy Pad. Well, let's just say it's enjoyable. See you next time. Because sports games on real consoles aren't already terrible. So sports games on a console made from microchips and... Ah, uh, that sounds like actual microchips. What I meant was the microchips that go in the microwave and don't taste like chips. Yeah. That joke hasn't worked. Let's try again!